Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pet Hipster channel. It's me, John, and today I'm going to be reviewing this. This is a can of Wendy's Chili that you can buy in a supermarket. Now, this review is going to be going over a few items. One, is this canned Wendy's Chili good? Does it taste good? I think that's like the most important thing. But also, does it taste like Wendy's Chili? Well, there's only one way to find that out. And that is, I went to Wendy's. I got this strawberry lemonade. But I also ordered some chili. This is actually the second time that I've tried to do this. Just yesterday I ordered some. I ordered it for delivery. And I got everything that I ordered except for uh, the chili. So today I drove myself to the Wendy's to get the chili. Also, Wendy's has terrible ways to contact the customer service. Their live chat just doesn't work. Um, and I'm still waiting for responses to the contact us and the contact email on the website uh, to try to get my money back for a chili that I bought but didn't get. Um, I have another review that should be coming out soon um, for a White Castle thing. Let me tell you the difference between the response from White Castle and Wendy's is night and day. White Castle has like an actual person that responds within a minute of me sending a message to them. I have yet to get any human response from Wendy's. The closest thing was a, a voice on the phone saying to press a button. But anyway, I have in front of me two bowls that, uh, these are just bowls that I own. I have put a star upon ours for the bowl that is containing the canned chili and this bowl just has uh, the chili I got from Wendy's that I just poured into this bowl that way it's in the exact same type of bowl so I can look and see uh, the physical differences that I see uh, inside the same container. Now first of all I will say the real Wendy's chili from Wendy's This is the consistency. The canned Wendy's chili. There's the consistency there. It's a little bit thicker. And even if you just take a look at the two spoons, Wendy's from the restaurant, Wendy's from the can. The can is coating thicker. It is a thicker chili. I also looked up uh, ingredients differences and nutritional differences. Of course, the can has the ingredients and the nutrition right there. It says 280 calories per cup. It says, hey, a cup is a serving. And on the Wendy's website, a chili, which they don't say exactly how much you get, um, but it's 240 calories. So 40 less calories in a serving, you go directly to Wendy's. The first ingredient on this can is beef. That's pretty good, right? The most things you get out of this is beef. At the Wendy's at the store, the first ingredient is chili base, which has ingredients in itself. It has chili sauce, which is water, tomato paste, tomatoes. Um, more tomatoes, tomato juice, calcium chloride, sugar, cornstarch, salt, chili pepper, spices, flavor enhancers, dextrose salt extract, modified cornstarch, citric acid, garlic powder, disodium isinate, disodium guanolate, onion powder, xanthan gum, onions, celery, and green pepper. All those are contained in the chili base. Um, then water and then ground beef. 
So beef is way, 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 way at the bottom. Whereas the can, beef is the first thing. Then you get tomato puree, then you get kidney beans, then you get pinto beans, then water, um, tomatoes, celery, green pepper, beef tallow, sugar, cornstarch, chili pepper, beef flavorings, extract, salt, flavor, lactic acid, tracer acid, onion powder, citric acid, tapioca, yeast extract, garlic powder, um, all the way down to plastic, which is smoke flavor. And then after the beef for the uh, store brand, at the store, it's then chili beans, which is pinto beans and red kidney beans. And then the last ingredient is soy lecithin. So the recipe must be completely different. They might use some similar things. They both have beef. They both have uh, pinto and kidney beans. Um, the pinto beans in the bowl are white, but the pinto beans from the can are brownish orange. They both use red for the red kidney beans, so the store ones look more bright red, the canned ones look more muted red. Uh, the beef, you can see the beef clearly in here. Some of them, you can really tell this piece right here it almost has like a grill mark on it and as we all know the beef in Wendy's chili are their burgers whereas the beef in um, this chili just looks like uh, so a good piece of, uh, looks like that kind of reminds me of the beef inside of like a chef boy RD uh, ravioli. Um, they both have onions, they both have uh, green peppers. You can see them in both of them though. Clearly the ones from the store look uh, fresher. So there you go. There's a lot of differences between these before I even taste them. So now uh, let's give them a smell. The store brought one. It smells like uh, tomatoes and peppers. Really uh, tomato and peppery, uh, like bell pepper. The can one. The can one smells like. Spaghetti-o sauce, Chef Boyardee sauce, that like canned tomato sauce. Uh, and not like the good canned tomatoes, it smells like those generic Chef Boyardee tomato sauce uh, tomatoes. Um, one thing, when you order from the store, uh, you can get it with onions, so I got mine on the side. You can get cheese, I got mine on the side. Crackers sour cream and their hot chili seasoning there's none of those for the canned chili there's no Wendy's branded chili sauce that I know that you can get in the store maybe I know they don't sell crackers or cheese or onions all those things you have to do yourself so more pros and cons uh, I think so far heavily favoring eating the chili from the Wendy's Let's go ahead and finally get to the taste. Let's start with the Wendy's restaurant chili. The texture of everything is nice. The onions and the peppers still have a, a little bit of a crunch bite to them. The meat is still um, a little bit on the chewy side. The 
The flavor is very bright. There's some acidity to it. Is it the best chili in the world? No. But it's pretty good. Now let's taste the canned chili. Completely different. None of the onion or the bell pepper has any crunch to it. It's all mush. The beef is all mush. The beans are so mushy you can just like press them on the top of your mouth with your tongue and just squash them. I'm gonna do one of the red kidney beans for each one, just so I can get a back to back bite. But the skin of that one still has a, a little bit of a toughness to it. That one was like nothing was even there. There is absolutely no comparison to these two. This is made by Conagra Brands of Chicago, Illinois. What does Conagra make? Let's Google Conagra. Conagra. Conagra Brands. Uh, brands, what do they make? They make Slim Jims, Healthy Choice, Duncan Hines, Guardian, David's, uh, Sunflower Seeds, Hunts, Mary Calendars, Ready Whip, Classic, Bird's Eye, Boom Chicka Pop, Dukes, Orville, Redenbacher, Swiss Smith, Snack Pack, and Banquet. Just to name a few. Oh, look. Chef Boy RD is on here. Well, I think that's all I need to know. And um, if you really like Wendy's chili, which I can see someone really liking Wendy's chili, it tastes fine. You are going to be very disappointed if you buy one of these cans of Wendy's chili and think you're going to get anywhere near the same experience from a fresh bowl of Wendy's chili. From Wendy's. What are you getting from this can? You're getting Chef Boyardee chili. They just took off uh, Chef Boyardee's face and plopped Wendy's face on there. Um, Wendy's, I don't know. I, I think like you're, you're kind of hurting your brand name by putting your face on this can, Wendy. I wouldn't do it. Now, the Wendy's name and design and cameo design are registered trademarks of quality is our recipe, LLC, used with permission. Okay. So I'm guessing like uh, Chef Boyardee was like, hey, Wendy's, we'll give you some money if you let us put your face on our cans of chili that we're making. So maybe more people will go out and try our cans of chili. Uh, well, I'm sure it worked somewhat. People probably bought thinking, I really like Wendy's chili. Let's try this. But besides just having some similar ingredients, the recipes are way different. The outcome is a lot different. And you will be disappointed if you try this thinking you're going to be tasting Wendy's chili. If you really like Chef Boyardee tomato sauce, go ahead and try these canned Wendy's chili because that's what it tastes like. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was informative to you. And I hope that someone out there sees this and avoids 
buying this can of Wendy's chili thinking they're going to get anything near the same experience. If that's you, give this video a thumbs up. Everyone else who isn't, also give a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.